enough. That's not enough. And that's what I keep telling you. You can't just keep saying and making promises that you're not keeping. You're not. You're not here. What's cool? Good. You doing good? <laughs> good, good, good. Did you eat? <laughs> okay. You gonna get some ice cream? Yeah. How's your grades? Good. <laughs> so, buddy, ready to go? Yep. Did you have fun? Yep. yep. You look tired. You tired? Yes, it's been a long day. Uh, look at you, long day. You don't know nothing about long day. You like your jacket? It's too big. You grow into it. 
So how was school? Good. What does good mean? You know, I actually want to know what you did and what you learned. Can't you tell me that? Dad, can I have a new phone? Everyone in my class has. We're not everyone in your class, huh? You already have a phone. Sir, can you take a look at my little girl? She's lost. Her name is Samantha. Oh, no. Sir, please, can you take another look? Please, just look. <laughs> Since you've been doing so good in school and so good at what your chores around the house, me and your mother have something for you at home. Is it a new copy of Mama's new book? <laughs> no. Is it a video? Game? Not exactly. Just, uh, let's think of it as an early Christmas present. Yo. What's up, little man? How's school? Good. good. That's all he ever says. Good. <laughs> That's all he says is good. You know, it's the first year of putting up license carol pass. It ain't easy getting in the spirit, you know, dealing with the loss. Yeah, I understand. I understand completely. Can I go to the bathroom, Dad? Mason, I asked you to go before we left your school. But I didn't have to go then. <laughs> okay, listen. Run straight to the house, okay? Mommy's there waiting for you, all right? Okay. And don't open anything until I get there. Okay. <sighs> These kids, man. <laughs> Gotta love them. So what else been going on? Everything good? Slow motion. Yeah. One day at a time. We'll get there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what you got? Uh, that for me? Nothing. Miss, no, Miss. boy, uh, where's Mason? What do you mean, where's Mason? I sent him here 10 minutes ago to use the bathroom. George, <laughs> I've been sitting here since you left to go get him from school. Mason never walked through that door. Are you sure? Because I watched him walk around the corner. George. He could be in his room. He's not here. Mason! Mason? Mason, baby! Mason! Go, make the call. Right, right, right. This is what we have so far. So can you start by telling what happened again, folks? For the fifth time, my husband allowed our son to walk home by himself. Okay, yes, officer, I allowed him to walk home, but it was just around the corner. Look, I understand you're frustrated. We're putting a search team together as we speak. Well, tell me you're gonna find my son tonight. Tell me you're gonna find my baby. Man, we'll do everything within our powers. Is there anyone that would not hurt your son? He's seven years old. You tell me who in their right mind would want to harm a seven-year-old! Baby, baby, come on. Come on. Come on.
or something? Lou, you all right? I'm tired. Why don't you take a break? Yeah. It's not... It's not our boy. Mm -hmm. no, he's still alive. He's still alive. All right? He's still out there. Call the fire, okay? All right? It's not... I don't know if I want to find a dead body. I mean, I, I mean, I want to find him. I just don't want to see it. I don't know if I can handle that. I know, but let's just hope and pray that they find him alive. It's in God's hands now. <laughs> we searched the entire town. I know how difficult this must be. They haven't come up with a single lead. Unfortunately, we're going to have to call off the search at this point. What do you mean call off the search? Man, you can't call off the search. My son is still out there. Come on for me. My son is still out there. George. He's still out there. We don't have a single lead at this time. We can't just keep these people out here searching until we find a direction. It's not like we're giving up on the case. So what about our son? Sorry. You folks at home. No! 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 It's not okay to hit each other. Do you understand? To the office now. And you, miss, you've been testing my patience all year, and I've had it up to here. You're gonna spend your day in the office as well. And tomorrow, I expect better. And you're gonna spend some time with me tomorrow after school for detention. Go ahead. You can go to the office now. Go.
go there or not, you can't go skits around on people because you decided not to take your medicine. I told you it makes me sick, oh, okay? Oh, well, you're making me sick right now, Sylvia. Okay, because I'm the one who has to go to the bank and explain why the mortgage payment's gonna be late, huh? You can't be getting fired from jobs, Sylvia. We need the money. Who are you, Neil? Screw you! Oh, screw me. Is that all you got? Dad! Oh, look what we got here. Tori, the infamous Italian stallion Reddick, right? I guess the apple don't fall too far from the tree, does it? Now what, now I'm gonna have to take another day off work to take her back to school, right? She only got a detention! Did you at least find the other one? Look, you gotta do better, little girl. You and me, we gotta do better, all right? Now look, I'm gonna go back to work. I got a job to finish up. Just clean this up. Got it. Have a good evening, everyone. Mr. Lance will let you out. You stay getting in trouble, Tori. You could open up your textbook and do your homework. Okay, Tori, time's up. Gather your belongings together so I can walk you down to the late bus. Right here, okay, Tori? I have to run back to the classroom. I'll be right back, okay? Do the spring comes, you think that's cute? They'll be so with it. Yeah, that's adorable. What we do at Tea the Top is a kindergarten golf tournament. Excuse me, gentlemen, hold on for one second, okay? Miss Williams. What's the matter? You got a problem? Uh, I had a student with me after school for detention today. Toy, right? Yes. Okay. But when we were on our way out here, I had to run back to my classroom. When I came back out, she was nowhere to be found. I don't know where she is. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she's in the bathroom or something. Hold on. Hold up, we got one more. Give me a minute. Gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Come on, let's go find that little problem child.
I really hope we find her. I know. Oh! Mr. Kramer, Mr. Benson, have you happened to see a seven-year-old wandering around the halls, a, a little girl? White girl, tan pants, burgundy jacket. Yeah. Uh, Miss Williams, Principal Lockett, I mean, I see kids all day long going up and down these halls, but as of recently, no, no, I haven't seen anybody wandering the halls. What about you, Mr. Benson? Have you seen a little girl? Wenn ich Ihnen sagen würde, dass ich sie gesehen habe, würden Sie mir glauben? Yeah, 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 but he, he don't even speak English. Besides, he just got here. He hasn't seen anybody. Her name is Tori. Um, if you see her, please bring her to my office with the quickness. Tori, Thank burger you. depends. I got you. Gotcha. If we see Thank her, you, sir. we'll let you know. Thank you, Mr. Kramer. Oh, um, what about them security cameras? Are they working yet? <laughs> it is funny you say that, you know. Michael was just looking at him. He told me we're going to be on it. It'll be fixed as soon as possible. Promise. Thank you, Mr. Benson. Mr. Kramer. We're on it. Keep me posted. All right. All right. Have a good day. So, they haven't seen us. I think Where if she have one. I don't know. Let's look down. Staff, this is Mrs. Lockett. Um, we're looking for a seven-year-old, beige pants, maroon jacket. Her name is Tori Rennick. Anyone with her or seen her, please bring her to my office immediately. Thank you. been a small mix-up. Um, Mrs. Williams, uh, she just turned her back for a moment. She went back to her office to get her purse, and when she came back, uh, Tori wasn't there. So we're wondering if you... Oh, are you telling me you don't know where my daughter is? Uh, wait a minute, Mrs. Reddick. No, no, wait. you wait a goddamn minute. You call me asking me where my daughter is, and, and you're telling me to wait a minute? Mrs. Reddick? We're doing everything we can. We're wondering if you could or somewhere she may go. You gotta be kidding me. You call me telling me you want me to lend you a hand to help you find my daughter? What kind of question is that? This is my freaking kid we're talking about. Mrs. Reddick. <gasps> what do we do now? Call the police. Finished almost all your Christmas shopping. Man, I really started. I think I grabbed like two presents. Neil! 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 They can't find Tori. What? What? what, what calm down. What? The school. Who, who can't find Tori? The school just called me. And the principal talked to me. And she said that she doesn't know where Tori is. Okay, let's go in the house and we'll figure this no, out. No, we okay? can't go in the house. She's not in there. Okay, we have to find her. Okay. okay? Why don't you give me your keys and I'll Sylvia, just find her myself? Sylvia, stop! Okay. Stop, Sylvia! Okay, stop! Look, this isn't me. This isn't me just acting crazy, okay? I'm not acting crazy or your daughter's missing. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go to the school. Come on. Get, get in the car. If she's 
she's out there wandering around, we're gonna find her. If not, we'll search that whole goddamn school. All right? Cops are coming, I'm gonna hold the door for him. Where's my daughter? Huh? Where is she? You tell me where she is right now! Where is she? Huh? No one has lost your daughter, Mrs. Reddick. We've looked in all of the places where she might be. She's just probably wandering somewhere we haven't looked yet. All right, all right. What the hell is going on here? This bitch lost my daughter! Okay, how long has your daughter been missing? About an hour. I assume you've checked the entire school, you've spoken to all the staff and the teachers. I made an Correct. announcement over the loudspeaker and told anyone if they saw her to bring her to my office immediately. How many staff members and teachers were in the building at the time the student went missing? 10, 15 or so? Yeah. Okay, the first thing we need to do was split up. You two will come with me, you two will go with Officer Edward. Okay, we'll recheck every classroom, every room in this building, and we'll round up anybody in this building and we'll meet back here. Yes. Let's go, come on. Sorry. What's going on here? Are you okay? Oh my god. No, oh, it's okay. It's Micah. It's just one of the janitors that work here. You're Micah? Gerozumi. No English. Uh, have you seen a little girl that's missing about this tall? Have you seen her? Does that ring a bell for you? Rosmi Vilishman is director of Czechia Nepovidzelishmi. I don't know where the child is. He don't speak good English. When we use the S for something, we use the S John. John? Who's John? Uh, John's the other custodian. He's the grumpy one. All right, Mr. Stewart, Micah, go down to the office and wait for me there, please. Okay, sure, no problem. Come on, let's go to your principal's office. Excuse me, sir. How are you? I'm Officer McGregor, and this is the Reddick family. Good afternoon. I'm Stephen Kornicki. Mr. Kornicki. I'm the reading and uh, social studies teacher here at Arlen Elementary School. How can I help you? A uh, seven-year-old girl by the name of Tori went missing today after school, and we're hoping maybe someone has seen her or have information to help us find her. There's some kids playing at the playground right outside my classroom. I don't know if it's who you're looking for. You always sit here after school and watch kids play? Sometimes. Reminds me of what it feels like to be free. To run. To climb. 
crime, the fall, to play without a care in the world. Look, man, I'm sorry to hear that, okay? Don't be. I'm thankful for what I do have. Well, maybe you could help us find a missing daughter, Tori. I'm sorry. But I haven't seen her. I teach fourth grade. And if she's seven, I don't think she would be down this wing in the building. Yeah. I mean, he's right. I mean, Toy's classroom was the other side of the school. She, she wouldn't even be over here. Mr. Kornacki, I'm going to have to ask you to come with us down to the office, please. Sure. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We're looking for a kid that's going missing. A little girl named Tori. A kid missing from this school? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised one bit. With all the weirdos that work around here. Weirdos? Who are these weirdos? All of them. Do you see the kind of people that work here? No disrespect to y'all, but... None taken. They are weird. Are you the last person down in that hallway there? No, I believe I am the last one here. <laughs> you know, someone had to stay behind and clean up all the instruments after the kids. Yay, yay. I'm gonna go take a look. You guys stay here. With all due respect, sir, I do have some place I need to be. I'm not asking. Stay here. So, what can you tell me about the missing Adams kid? At this time, nothing. You know we're in appointed positions, right? Yes. The last thing we need is for this town to feel like we aren't capable of protecting them. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I understand completely. I mean, maybe we can get a reward. You don't see if that helps. A reward. Yeah. Get in touch with the local news, get them up to speed. Something's definitely got to be done. Excuse me. Hello? Captain, we have reports of a seven year old girl gone missing from Arlen Elementary School. Officers McGregor and Cusick are on the scene. Walk with me. Her classroom is dirty. What are you saying? Come on, we've already checked these hallways. Three times already. Come on.
Whoa, 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 where are you going? No, stop. I'm going to have a word with Mrs. Lloyd. Look, we don't have time to be dealing with the teacher from last year, okay? Stop. Look, that bitch called Dyfus on us, okay? For all we know, she could be the one that's behind all this shit. Enough, Mrs. Dreddick. Now, please have a seat. See, now sit down. Please sit. Now, I know I've already spoken to most of you, but it's very important that we come together collectively to help find this child. Has anybody seen Mr. Stewart? Where were you? Well, I went out to have a smoke. Hey, hey, Officer McGregor. I know this is a very serious situation, but you can't hold my people here any longer. I mean, the good thing is, is everyone is trying to cooperate. Everyone here wants to help, right? Are you okay? Yes. All right, folks, you can all go. But if you have any information on the whereabouts of Tori, Please contact our police station. You're just gonna let everybody go? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna I let can't hold these people any longer, Mr. Let's Reddy. just go. Let's just I've asked for go. their help. That's all I can do. Let's go. I swear to God, if she's like with her friends or playing some little trick on us, I'm gonna wring her little neck. I mean, I love her, but I'm gonna kill her. What, are you following us now? I think this whole town's on the same page tonight. Yeah. I think we're definitely on the same page. Look, we're not the enemy. And I don't have any kids, so I can't say I know what you're yeah, going yeah, through. Yeah. Look, Mrs. Reddick, we're just trying to help. Find our kid then, okay? supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a call. 
call on missing children. We're not alone. Hey, Doug. You okay? I mean, it's been years since you sat in that seat, ordering what you're ordering. You wanna talk? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this whiskey, Ella. All in all, I want it in front of me. Thank you. I'll let you know if I want something else. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Everything come out all right? <laughs> yeah, it did. All right. That's mine, I usually use. <laughs> ah, nice meal. Oh my God, look at this. Hey, you see that? Oh yeah, I'm trying. I appreciate it, thank you. Aren't you good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I gotta go take care of something. All right, and you take care of things. I'll be back to check. All right. Hey, Seth. Hey, y'all. Your usual? Nah. I think I have my partner's hand. What's going on? I mean, it's been years since y'all been cleaning. Y'all want to come in here and order a drink? Now, I know a lot is going on in this town, but we ain't starting with this bullshit. Not now. You know what? You want to go down this dark path? Be my guest. What do you want? Initially, food. But since you weren't here about the party, let's party. I know Ella called you. <laughs> she did. Man, what are you thinking? Thinking about those families? What if we don't find those kids? I also been thinking about my daughter. She went to her junior prom, and I found it on social media. It's been eight years since I. 
What's the use of saying you're sorry if no one's going to accept it? You of all people should understand that one bad decision can change the outcome for so many. I mean, we all make bad decisions. We're supposed to learn from those lessons. And those who don't, we lock them up. Look, big guy. I need you whole. But if you die, I'm dying. What the? Oh, good. You're up. Did you talk to the police yet? Nope. What'd you just put in the back of the truck? Yeah, can I help you? Good morning. Uh, my name is George Adams, and this is my wife, Yvonne. We heard about what happened with your daughter yesterday, and we, we want to help. Look, about a week ago, our son Mason went missing, and we still haven't found him. You know what makes it worse is the police ended the search for him. <sighs> Look, we're on our own. So if there's anything we can do, count us in. Great. Follow me. Sylvia. Neil? What are you doing? I'm going to find our daughter, OK? If anybody knows what we're going through, they do. So if they want to help us, then why not them? I mean, hell, the same person that took Tori might have taken their son. Did you ever think about that? No, I didn't think about it. I didn't get a chance to, OK? Did you even talk to the police yet? How'd that work out for you guys? I'm going to the school. Okay. Are y'all coming? How long are we going to do this? You know I wouldn't do anything to intentionally put our son in harm's way. I don't think letting him go around a corner to use the bathroom would turn into this. Well, it did, George. How? Could you be so careless to think that it was okay? It was around the corner! Listen, if you don't plan on leaving me, then I need you to start loving me again, because missing... Missing him... Missing him is bad enough.
what's in the stroller? The solution. Excuse me. I'll call you back. Don't let us interrupt you here this morning, but does anyone know where Mrs. Lockett's at? Good morning. I'm Vice Principal Mr. Griffin. Is there anything that I can help you with? Nope. Mm -mm. Good morning. Mr. and Mrs. Reddick, how may I help you today? Well, for starters, we still haven't found our daughter. Okay, and it looks like everything around here just went back to normal. Mr. Reddick, this is an elementary school, and we have over 200 other children that we must tend to. So screw my daughter? Hmm? No, Mrs. Reddick, it's in the police's hands now. No. Oh. No, I recall you asking us to lend you a hand. Yes. Right? Yes, ma'am. But now that you feel like you've done all that you can do, right? It's just out of your hands. That's bullshit and you know all it. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Reddick. I, I gotta get back to work. We will take care of the, the situation. No, oh, I'm on. sorry, okay? But no one is leaving until I get my daughter back. What are you doing? What are you doing? What my heart is telling me to do. Now I am not leaving here without her. So I suggest that you get a gun. Get it? What's going on? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mrs. Reddick, if you think that we do not care about Tori's well-being. Shut up! You said you wanted to help. Yeah, I know what we said, but... Mr. Griffin, do not move. Okay, listen, whatever, whatever y'all need, we're here to help. I need you to take these chains, go around all the doors, lock them up. I ain't trying to use these, okay? Trust me, I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Look, you have an option. You wanna go, there's the door. I'm gonna stay for our kids' sake and I'm gonna see this through. It's up to you. Once they get back, I want an announcement made for everyone to head down to the gymnasium. Mrs. Reddick, what you're doing here today is, is wrong. Mrs. Lockett? Yes. Tell me, what do you live for? Hmm? What is that one thing that you hold true to your heart. That one thing you are willing to die for. <laughs> now, if you can answer those questions, then you know why we're doing this. Because I, I need my daughter. Look, we're not trying to hurt anybody. But whoever took Tori was in this school. We find out who that person is, we find her. Okay. All right, that's it. George, what are we doing? I don't. I don't know. But what I do know is if those people are going to go the extra mile to find their daughter, then why not us? We find their daughter and we might find Mason. If that's the risk, that's the risk I'm willing to take. What about the police? What about the police? I don't want to go to jail. Jail? Really? Every morning I wake up and I go into Mason's room knowing our son is not there? Baby, that's hell. So if they're willing to lock me up, for trying to find my son, then so be it. Cause I'd rather go to jail trying to just 
around waiting. Look, I just want my son back. I don't care. I know. I just want my son. All the doors are locked. Make the announcement. Absolutely. and girls. Good morning, staff. I have an announcement to make. Good morning. My name is Neil Reddick. These are my two trustees. We're here because yesterday my daughter Tori went missing from inside this school. Now, we believe that somebody here knows what happened to him or where she is. And until that person comes forward, nobody's leaving this school. Sir, what if we don't know where Tori is? What if Tori isn't in the school? What if the person who took Tori isn't here either? Then what? It's a lot of what ifs. What if she is here? Huh? What if the coward that took her is amongst us? Look, I don't want to be here any more than you do. But we're not leaving until we get our kids. Now, please, everybody, take out your cell phones and pass them down forward to my trustees. Don't scare my kids. I won't warn you again. Don't interrupt me. Phone. Wait, get, no. Well, where are you going? Man, where if you, you get out my face! Look, I'm not about to be locked up in no school over some kid who probably over his friend house just playing hooky. No. Don't touch me, man! Are you out of your mind? No. But clearly she is. if it wasn't for these kids. <laughs> you want to tell me why you tried to run? I'm just scared. I'm scared, too. I'm scared. I may never see my daughter again. 
So why don't you <laughs> tell us where she is? I don't know where she is. Sure you do. You know, it's gonna be your fault that all these people have to suffer through this. Or you could just tell us and we can all go home. I don't know where she is, I swear I don't know where she is. You're lying to me. I don't know. Excuse me. This is enough. You're doing way too much and you're scaring my kids. So let's just chill this all out, okay? Okay? Shh. I'm gonna take Mrs. Lockett and Mrs. Lloyd back to the uh, I'm not going office. anywhere with you're you. You're gonna go wherever he says you're gonna go, yeah. okay? You're coming with me, big mouth. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go. Don't hurt her. Now. Just don't hurt her. It's okay. Let's go. Keep your eyes open while I'm going, all right? Mr. Reddick, please! Enough of you. Now look, imagine this, Mrs. Lloyd. Huh? You tell us where Tori is, and then all these nice people get to go home, huh? But I don't know where she is. Stop lying to me! Mrs. Lloyd, it will do us all a great service if you could just tell him anything that you know. But I don't know anything. I don't know. This is your last chance. I don't know where she is, I swear, I don't know. Please don't kill me, I don't know where she is. She said she doesn't know, <laughs> Mr. Reddick. She doesn't know. I don't know. I don't know. So if not you, then who, huh? I don't know. Get in the office, go. Get up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Officer Bryant, we really gotta stop meeting like this. All units calling all units. I said, hell no, I don't get paid enough for that. Progress in Arlen Elementary School. Be advised the troopers armed to possible hostage situation. All units respond immediately. Shit! Can you repeat that? Everything good? Yeah. I just want to know, what's your plan? I mean, George and I are all for helping, but... <sighs> Look, the plan's simple. We flush them out. All right? Tori was taken from inside this school. And when that person peeks, whoever they are, well... Then what? 
Neil, we took over a school. Tell me, how is this helping anything? Think about it. When your son went missing last week, did anyone even care? People just went back to their normal lives. Hell, I didn't even know about it. Would they maybe post a Facebook picture of him? Then what? This is how we get people who don't want to help to help. Because they're gonna want the same thing that we do. We're gonna want our kids back. And I ain't giving them their kids back until we find our kids, okay? So those who weren't involved before, well, they're involved now. I told you. Go tell the others, okay? What happened? George, the police are here. What's your name? Layla and I play soccer. Is that right? Ming Lee, are we going home soon? I hope so. Are you Tori's mom? Can Tori come to my birthday party? I'm going to be eight. We don't talk to strangers. I need you to calm down. If something happens to my daughter... Hey! There's other kids in that building, too. But I'm gonna let every last one of them get out of here safely. You got it? So straight up your shit, officer. I'll take off my goddamn uniform. Would you expect them to send Santa? Look, now we got their attention. <clears throat> hey, do you mind going to grab George for me? Take his post. We're fine, relax. What do we have? We received a call from a man who was here to pick up his kids. Said he saw a man inside waving a gun. Okay, well, have we established contact with anyone inside yet? No. No. Anyone hurt? Not that I know of. Who are these people? 
I don't know. Why would anyone take over our school? Your guess is as good as mine. It's a blueprint you asked for, sir. Hello? Hello. My name is Detective Louis John Maud. I am the crisis negotiator. May I ask who I am talking to? <laughs> I am here to help you, but I have to know who I'm speaking with. Okay, may I ask you a question? Is everyone okay in there? Everyone's fine. Okay, well. We're off to a good start. No, we're off to a terrible start. First of all, my daughter's still missing. Okay, if you would have done your job, we wouldn't be here right now. Now I need you to listen you to go get every local news station and media outlet and get them down here now. Call me back when they arrive. Who the hell does he think he is? What did he say? He's asking for the media, sir. So what's the problem? They are all already out here. We've been holding them behind the lines. Give it to him. Nobody says the cameras have to be on. I know one damn thing. I'm not going to sit here much longer. I don't care if they got guns or not. You know about guns, right? I know they got bullets. That's all you need to know. <sighs> you still, you need to calm yourself down, man. Let the situation play itself out. Just calm down. Chill. Just calm down, man. I'm, I know. What do you mean, no? Uh, no. Stu, Stu, sit down, man. Where you going? Stu! Yeah. Look, don't make me tie you up, okay? Stay put, big mouth. When the news reporters get here, I want you to go out and talk to them. <laughs> Say what? I'm sure you'll think of something. Yeah, okay, but why can't you go out and talk to them? Why me? Are you gonna stop ever asking why? Why you? Why your son? These people need to know that we love our children and why we're here. Okay? For the last week when Mason's been missing, no one's been listening to you. Here's your chance to go make them listen. Go make them listen. Go ahead. I have the news media out here as you requested. Now, I'm cooperating with you. I need you to... Hello? <laughs> Tell me where my daughter is. Tell me where she is. I don't, I don't know. Please. I don't know. Thank you. I think he's telling the truth. <sighs> I hope you're right. I have the news media here like you asked. Can you explain to me what brings about this? Please. Everybody inside is safe. We just want this nightmare to be over. I'm sure. But every time I'm talking to you on the phone, you keep hanging up. That's not me on the phone. Well, who's in charge here? And why are you holding up all these people? Look, there's not one person in charge here. Well, can you start by telling me what is the meaning of all this? Man, there are children in there. 
Not from here, are you? We're here because, well, we're here because you wouldn't listen before. Things happen in this town. And unless you're one of the privileged, it just falls on deaf ears. So for the common folk that live here, things go unanswered. Not this time. This time it's going to affect you all. What that means is you have no choice but to listen. My son. Mason Adams was abducted a week ago. And after just three days, the search was ended. You all just went back to your normal lives as if my child was just some, some faint memory. And then yesterday, another child by the name of Tori Reddick also went missing. We believe she's alive and we believe Mason is alive as well. But we need your help. We need your help to see to it that we find who has taken our children and that it doesn't happen again. So why are you taking other people's children hostage? How else will we get your attention? But don't you think that makes you just as bad as the people that took yours? All we want is the same thing as you. We just want our children to come home. All we want you to do is help us find our kids. Once we find them, we'll unlock these doors. But not a minute sooner. How much longer is this going to go Why on? Why do you have guns when in the school? When are you going to release the children to their families? Don't you have to Excuse me, please. I really need some assistance. That's close enough. Due to the urgent request this morning, I ventured here unprepared. Is there any way I can go back to my classroom to retrieve my medication? I'm sorry, but no one is to leave the gymnasium. Ma'am, I'm not sure that you understand that I have to take my medication. I have to take my medication at least twice a day. Because if I don't, I'm not sure what may happen. You see, I've never had this problem before. I've never gone very long without my medication. Look, when my husband comes back, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. but your actions will only escalate this situation. You have to calm down. Get him out of here. I, got it. I don't want to see his face here again today. 
We have to find a way inside that school. Okay. Young man, you don't seem to want to listen. I don't give a shit. My daughter's in that school. So I'm supposed to sit here and wait until whenever they let her go? This is bullshit. I understand how you feel. That's why you're sitting in this car until this is all over with. Unless they can take you downtown and book you. The choice is yours. Execute it yourself. <laughs> How long do you expect to keep us here? As long as it takes. It takes to what? I mean, what do you even expect to happen? Man, do you expect one of these folks to really just come out and confess? Just walk you right up to your daughter like, here, sir? Man, this waiting ain't helping. Look, if the person that took your daughter is still in the building, that means your daughter is out there all alone. It doesn't make sense. What, is it a prerequisite for everyone that works here to have a big mouth? Shut up. Hey. Hey. How are you holding up? I'll be glad when this is all over. You and me both. But look, this kid, Tori, would it be possible that she would have walked off with a complete stranger? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. Right. Which means she must have known this person. Otherwise, you would have heard her screaming if someone were to try to take her. Right? Look, all I'm saying is I want to help these people find their daughter so we can end this charade get these children home to their parents. Hell, I'm tired of my damn self. Look, I admit it. I left her in the hallway for a few seconds by herself, but if you think for one minute that I took her, you're wrong. That's fine. The question I'm asking is, do you know who she's with? No, I don't. Okay. Kaniki? Mr. Kaniki, are you okay? I need my medicine. What? What was that I took? Where's your medicine, Mr. Kaniki? In my bag. Inside my classroom. 
This man needs his medicine or he can die. I'm going to get it. No! You go get the medicine. Where, where are you? Room 106 on the left wing. Hurry, please hurry. Mr. Konicki, they're going to get your medicine. Do you need water? Breathe with me. Give me the gun. Now. Open the door. I thought I told you to lock all the doors. I did lock all the damn doors. Oh, I'm so glad you can join us. You alone? How'd you get in here? I'm asking you, how'd you get in here? What do you want to do about him? I put him with the breast, keep an eye on him. I gotta figure out how the hell he got in here. Right now it's just a waiting game. Oh my god, Mr. Konigi! Please, he get his medicine. Mr. Konigi! Do you have any Hurry up, I need help! Mr. Konigi! Hey. Okay, oh you two, god. keep these guys calm. Oh. Hold on, buddy, hold on. Oh, Mr. Konigi! Hey! Hang in there, Mr. K. Come on, get help for you, Mr. K. It's okay. Hurry! Mr. K, hang in there. Hang in there, Mr. K. Come on. Man, I just found her. You're lying. No, no, no. I, I never seen that kid before in my life. I was walking down here. I was following. <sighs> Gun. Please. Kids out of that building. Eighty percent. We just got word there's been gunfire inside the school. What source do you have inside that school that confirms this? Officer DeAndre Bryant. We're wasting time, sir. Why? 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 Why not? People pay good money for kids these days. I like nice things. Things people like you would take for granted. I like a fancy house, fancy cars. I just like things. I'm sorry, but this is over. I told you I didn't want to be a part of anybody getting hurt. 
Thank you. With or without you, I'm going to find Tori, and I'm going to find Mason. All right, we cannot lose hope, okay? Not now. We Yeah, well, I work for my money. Huh. Yeah, sure you do. So do I. Uh -huh. I know what you think. <laughs> do you? What is happening? We got him. We heard gunshots. Was anyone hurt? The janitor, but he's OK. And we found the kid. You found the kid? Yes. It's my job at this point. I know I'm fired. If they can't understand the situation you were faced with, then who cares? That's their loss. She is your world. If that means losing your job for the safety of your daughter, then Did a good job. You found your daughter. Yeah, well, you let the guy go. Let who go? Michael Benson, the guy who took my daughter. We let Michael Benson go? Yeah, you did. Did we? I don't know. <sighs> this is Officer McGregor. Can anyone tell me if we have a Michael Benson in custody, the janitor from Arlen Elementary School? Uh, that's a negative. He refused God treatment. God damn it! Let him go. Will somebody get me Michael Benson's address immediately? Man, I have to do everything for you guys. <laughs> what took you so long? This kid is driving me crazy. We're not adopting this kid, right? No. He'll be leaving sooner than you know, okay? Okay. Hey, buddy. How was your day? Great. Great. Can I go home now? Ah, not yet. Sorry. But hey, what is this? Is this chicken nuggets? You know, they're my favorite. So, ah, look who it is, Mason. Hey, look who it is. Mason, baby, can you... Can you get up and go in the room with Samantha, please? I thought you were dead. Look, we have to leave here. Now? Right now. Oh, my God, I really wish you didn't take that kid. Well, it's a little bit too late for that. Hey, relax. Get 
the door. Right, I, I take care of the kids. Go, go, go. Who is it? It's me. Open the door. Where is he? Where is he? Michael? Michael? I'm gonna deal with you later. Okay, because you're just as stupid as he is. You screwed this up completely. You had one job. One job. All you had to do was hold on to Mason until my buyer got into town, but no. You couldn't do that. You got greedy when it came to Tori. One at a time. One at a time, that's the way we always did it, right? And now we got a hell of trouble. <gasps> oh, you know, to me this, Einstein. How long did you think they was gonna be able to take over an entire school? Okay, first of all, how was I supposed to know that all that is gonna happen, huh? I wanted to take her out of school last night. Oh no, look, she couldn't stay here. Come on, Michael. What else am I supposed to do, huh? You weren't supposed to take her. Yeah, baby. Where the hell are you? What's going on? You know your school is all over the news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, the buyer will be here in the morning. Did you secure a kid? Mm -hmm. I can run it. Damn it, Athena. Listen, if we don't have a kid by tomorrow, let me call you back, okay? Who was that? Are the children here? They're in your room. Did they know I'm here? No. I took them to the other room once you knocked on the door. Good. Very good. Why? Check this out. Who is that? I don't know. Look, just go hide in the back. Get out of my way. Man. I'll answer the door. Hurry up. Stay back there. Who is it? Police, open the door, please. Miss William, I didn't expect you to be here. Is Michael Benson here? No, not. No, uh, he, he doesn't live here. That's funny. Can you see who it is? No. What if it's the cops? What? Do you mind if I come in? Is this really necessary? Look, all sure. this. What? It's a cop. No. What are they doing? It looks like. Just talking to Kathy. Oh, God. It's cold out here. Can I come in, please? Please? Thank you. Oh, what? Shh. Look, is this really necessary? Is anybody else in the house with you? No. No one. Hmm. All right. Why am I take a look over here? No, officer, do you have a warrant? Officer. Never regret something. You know you would do again. Stop the car. Hey! Give me a stick! He's down there! Get him! 
Must be Mason. Good to meet you, little man. Brother, looking good. I did it. Hey, where's my kiss? Hey, huh? listen. Oh, wait. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses. Looking, no dude. kisses for me. I'm cool. <laughs> so, is this what you meant by you have a plan? Not at all, but it was worth it. <laughs> you guys want to grab something to eat, man? I yeah, hate this I'm with you. Let's go. So, we are going to walk because. Jail food is not good.
Hey, baby. It's roaring. Life is rough and yeah, we've all seen better days. Had it all and just like that, lost everything. Yet I enjoyed the pain. Guess I enjoyed the pain. The pain, the pain. Don't give up. Don't give up. Find your way. 